Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this purple circle as you can see in this figure such that AC and BC are the radii of this circle and moreover we have got this uh, green triangle ACB such that this angle C is uh, 123 degrees and furthermore we got this BD as a tangent line to this circle and now we are going to calculate this angle ABD as you can see over here so let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do to make things simple let me go ahead and call this angle ABD as x degrees so therefore we are going to find the value of x angle and now we can see that these line segment AC equals to this line segment BC since these both are the radii of this given circle. So therefore this given green triangle ACB is an isosceles triangle since both of these sides are equal in length. And since this triangle ACB is an isosceles triangle, so therefore this angle A is equal to this angle B. If I call this angle theta on this side, so this angle has got to be theta as well. And now we know that the sum of three angles in any given triangle is 180 degrees so therefore the sum of these three angles has got to be 180 degrees let me go ahead and just write down theta plus theta plus this 123 degrees has got to be equal to 180 degrees so we got theta plus theta makes two theta plus 123 degrees equal to 180 degrees and now let me go ahead and uh, subtract 123 degrees from both sides so we can see that 123 degrees and this negative 123 degrees this is gone so we ended up 2 theta equals to 50 7 degree let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 so simply we got theta equals to 28.5 degrees so thus this angle over here turns out to be 28.5 degrees and here's our next step let's recall tangent to a circle theorem and here's our tangent to a circle theorem the angle between a tangent line and a radius is always 90 degrees that means they are perpendicular in this case this BD is a tangent line and this BC is a radius so therefore this angle has got to be 90 degrees and we can also see that this 90 degree angle is equal to the sum of this angle x and this angle theta so therefore i can write this angle x plus theta equal to 90 degrees and we know our angle theta is 28.5 degrees i'm going to replace this one by 28.5 degrees equal to 90 degrees now let's go ahead and isolate x so i am going to subtract 28.5 degrees on both sides so this and this is gone so we got x equals to 61.5 degrees so thus our angle x turns out to be 
five degrees. So thus our this angle ABD turns out to be 61.5 degrees and that's our final answer. And one more thing, just keep in your mind that this angle is always going to be the half of this angle C. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.